Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about a little bit of weird history. Uh, I was working on an old package on stream, which had a very strange version constraint. And I'm going to explain why it was that way and why you no longer need to do this, because <laughs> hopefully you're not dealing with tools that make this same mistake. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, the package I was dealing with, I think was this one. Uh, which I wrote way back in, I think, 2014. This is a really old piece of code. Uh, it's been, you know, updated along the years, but I don't really use it all that much anymore. Um, but the, the oddity was this version constraint here, where I had greater than or equal to 0.15.0 and less than or equal to 0.15.999. And someone asked in chat, oh, why, why would you do that instead of just doing less than 0.16.0? Um, and this is this is what you would do today, and you know this hack is no longer needed. But I'm going to show you why why this hack used to be needed, uh, and it's it's a very very subtle and silly thing that happens here. Uh, but anyway, this is this is the the subject of the video today. Okay, uh, in order to understand this, you kind of have to go back to the year 2014. Um, but uh, I'll actually show you a problem that still exists with this today. Uh, so let's set up a virtual environment. I actually have to use an old version of Python. Actually, I don't need it for this virtual env. We'll make another virtual env with a different version later. Um, and we're going to install packaging. This is a utility that pip and a bunch of other tools in the packaging namespace use to manage you know, things about packaging, versions, requirements, constraints, that sort of stuff. Uh, I guess it doesn't have a constraint solver that's different, but it has some other utilities for parsing those and, and understanding them. Anyway, uh, in packaging, there is a version from packaging.version import version. And this manages how versions are compared in uh, pip and stuff. And so uh, say we had you know v1 being version 0.15.0 uh, and v2 being version 0.0. Uh, 16.0 um, and then we can kind of represent our version constraint that we talked about earlier all right my room is making weird noises um, so if we do v1 less than version well, I guess it was greater than or equal to version and just to show that 0 0.15.0 satisfies this uh, less than 0 0.16.0 um, I guess you would represent it like this. Yes, of course. <laughs> so you can see that, of course, 15.0 fits in that bound. 15.1 fits in that bound. And if we do 16.0, it does not fit in that bound. The one tricky edge case here, however, is if we do... Actually, I should have just written this out. Uh, so I realized I didn't use my little constants here. Uh, the one tricky edge case here is that 16 alpha satisfies this this uh, version bound here. So it is less than version 16.0. Um, and we don't really want to, like the, the, the entire goal of the less than was to pin to a minor version. Uh, but this would be the next major version, next minor, whatever version. Uh, so this doesn't quite satisfy our constraint there. And in modern pip, it doesn't do this. In modern pip, this will be false. Like pip won't pip won't pre-install uh, or won't install pre-install packages, even if you ask for pre-install packages, if they don't fit this minor version constraint, because there's, you know, the 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 edge case changed over the years. Uh, but if we set up a little package, I can show you that there is an old version of pip um, that was relevant in way back when in uh, 2014, name equals what, version equals, we'll start with 1.0. Um, let's make a pi modules equals uh, what, and we'll touch what.py. That'll get us our little package here. I'm gonna use Python 3.5 here, because it'll be old enough to actually demo this. Uh, and we're just going to make a bunch of different wheels of this. So 1.0, we'll also do 1.1. We'll do 2.0 and 2.0 alpha 1. Uh, and so if we see we have a few versions of the package here, I'm going to set up a PyPI server, just a local one to demo this. 
Uh, so if we install PyPI server, I think the option is PyPI server uh, y slash dist, and then it should start serving packages. I think it serves on 8080, if I recall correctly. Um, okay, and we have to install pip less than six, which should install 1.5.6, I think. Yeah, 1.5.6, very old pip. <laughs> and if we do pip install dash dash pre, uh, wat greater than or equal to one and less than two, uh, and then index URL localhost 8080 slash index, or no, slash simple. Um, yeah, this will erroneously install p <laughs> version 2.0 alpha one, even though we asked for less than two uh, due to that same versioning bug. Now, of course, if we install anything greater than um, that, so for instance, pip less than seven to get us our uh, our pip six version here. Uh, pip six fixed this bug, so it is no longer no longer a problem. And pip's on version like twenty something now, so <laughs> it's it's very not relevant. But you can see here now it correctly installs wat version one point one rather than two. Uh, but anyway, a little bit of history here, kind of a, a weird little quirk of why I did that. It's no longer relevant now unless you have some sort of you know, broken packaging system that doesn't treat these properly. Um, or if you're using, you know, there's there's literally no way you're still using pip 1.5, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, oh man, you have bigger problems than this. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.